Okay, next up, we're going to add an image or text to this as a different type of point of interest. So to do this, I've got a photo icon. Drag it over here. I remember I liked it a little bit smaller, so I'm going to do that. Oops, like that. 0 0.7. Pull it across. I'm going to look from the top. This time I want it over on this side, so I'm going to just rotate it. I'm holding down control to get that nice looking even rotation. I'm just going to pull it back here and hopefully we should be able to see. So let's just have a play and have a look and see if it's in the same. You can see there it's cutting through a little bit, so I need to move it forwards. There we go, there's the image. Okay, so we're going to need to follow the, a similar steps that we took before. We're going to add a component to this and we're going to add a box collider. We're going to child this to the creek because it's going to be in an area of interest inside of the creek. We're going to add a tag. This time we're not going to call it sound. Let's just call it image. And I'm going to tag it as an image. We're going to need to create another script for this. This time we'll go media image and you will only need to do this once so you can reuse the script every single time you want to do a photo or an image or some text great so now that we've done that we're going to need to make our image and text i'm going to hit the back view let's add a ui and a canvas and that's where we're going to put it all. We'll do what we did before. We'll add a camera. We'll add their main camera here. Let's change our plane distance to one so that it's right at the front of the camera. And let's click here and press F to get close to it. And I'm just gonna make our gizmos a bit smaller they're in my way. So let's do this is similar to how we created the menu. We'll create an image in the back. I'm not going to pull it right to the edge because I kind of feel like it will be kind of nice to see a little bit of our image on the back when this comes up. Like of the 360 image. And let's grab these. As always, just putting them to the corner. Now let's duplicate that. So that's the image background. And this is the image that I want to show. So for me, it's going to be some leaves. I'm just going to use this leaves image that I had before. You can bring in any image that you want. You're just going to want to make sure that you select Sprite and hit Apply. But going back to this, I want to preserve my aspect ratio. Now I'm going to grab the Rex tool. And I'm going to place it where I like it. Something like that. And drag these onto the I also wanted to add a little bit of text to this, so I'm going to go Text Mesh Pro Text. I'm going to set it to black. Let me make the text. 
textures are smaller. And you can put whatever you want here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it a couple of times. I'm going to want one more thing, which is a back button. So let's go to UI, Mesh Pro button. I'm going to use my button sprite again. I'm probably going to turn it into a green like I did before. You probably actually should copy the same green, but I'm not going to do that for speed's sake. I'm going to preserve my aspect ratio. And there we go, it's nice and hard against the edge. Change the word into that. And I want to change my color to one. And so this is the button that we're going to use to close this when you've opened it and you don't want to see it anymore because you, you want to go back to your 360 image. Well, let's call that canvas photo and let's make it a child. No, it's not, let's make it a child of the site creek. Right, so we now need, we can now hide this because we've done that. And now we need to make it all work. So let's go on and work on our media review script. First of all, we'll start on the media image script. First thing we're going to want is a reference to the canvas that we made that shows the image and the text or anything like that. Next, we're going to want a reference to our tour manager. This time we're going to make it public because it's not on the same game object, it's not as simple as using that get component. So I'm going to make it public and just drag the variable in. When we start this function, we always want to hide the canvas of the image because we'll never be loading up straight onto it. So we're going to need a function to show the image. And we're going to need a function to hide the image. The first part of these is pretty easy and you might have guessed it. Here I'm just going to set it active. And here I will do the opposite. Now in our update, the same way in the media one that we did this when the escape key is pressed stop, we're going to do a similar thing here, except we're just going to hide the image. Now, I don't want to hide this image if it's not showing. So the one extra thing I'm going to add in, which I didn't have for the sounds, so I'm going to go canvas image dot active self. So that means that the canvas will have to be showing and the escape key will have to be pressed. Now there's a couple more things you need to do because again, we don't want the camera to be moving when you've got this image up so that you don't want the background of the 360 moving around. So we're going to do a couple of extra things to make that work. And we'll do that in our tour manager. So the first thing we need to do is we'll copy this if statement. We'll make it an else if, because this will only be true if this one isn't. So I'm going to, and this time we're going to look for our image. And this time we're going to go media image and this time the function is show image
So I'm going to add a couple more functions. One of which is return. Oops, let's make a public void return to site. And all we're going to do here is we're going to set a camera move equal to true because we're going back to the site. And we're going to have another one here for opening media. And here all we're going to do is we're going to set it to false. Now the last thing we need to make this work is to go back to our media image. And we'll go for a tour manager dot. And if you look back here, the function that we call was open media. So we're going to open a media. And in here, we're going to return to site. And that's all the coding we need. So let's get back to Unity because there's a couple more things that we need to plug in. Now on our icon photo, we'll see there's a couple of missing fields. Let's drag our world center into the tour manager slot. And then the other thing we need is that canvas that we created for the photo. Let's drag it in here and let's give this a try. And look at my creek site. And it appears to be working, but not quite right. So let's have a look at what we've done wrong. And to make this work correctly, we're going to have to drag a canvas photo outside of our site creek because it was inheriting the scale that we had here. So now let's test this. And there you go, it works. Our back button doesn't work, but let's try and fix that one next. Going to our back button, we'll drop the icon photo into it. We'll create a function, and we're looking for a media image, and we're looking for hide image. And let's hide our canvas photo. now you can see you can select your image and go back so that's how you add images and you just follow the same step and you can add multiple images or text or any of those kinds of things so that's it for this video in the next one i'll show you how to do the same thing but with a video